In this tutorial, we will take a look at the visual kit and jamsticks, which can be seen if you choose kit or mixer in the jamsticks main menu. All pieces that make up your current drum kit are shown here in a top-down view. Jamsticks tries to arrange them in the most logical way, but you can also manually place them by unlocking the kit here and then dragging kit pieces around. This is not just a gimmick because the AI in Jamsticks uses this placement to calculate what pieces the drummer can reach in time. If you move a piece far away, the drummer won't be able to use it, which allows you to force him to find a replacement piece. I'll let Chad play this groove and then I will take his hi-hat away. Note how he immediately switches to the ride. Let's see what he does if we take the ride away as well. Smart drummer that he is, he decided to use the floor tom instead. Let me put things back to where they were with this function here and I'll show you how to change the pieces of the kit. You can right click on a piece and change the sound file. Note that the image size changes in relation to the size specified in the sound file. You can left click on a piece to audit it with the center of the image being the loudest hit. You may also remove kit pieces using the right click context menu. Jamsticks will always try to find alternate pieces to play any notes directed to the missing piece. An alternate way to change the sound is the kit editor shown in the lower panel. Just click on the sound name and select the desired sound. You can preview items in the list and also filter by kit piece type. The kit editor is also the place to fine tune the performance of each sound. You can change volume, stereo pan, ambiance level, dampen the piece, or change its pitch. For maximum flexibility, you can assign each kit piece a MIDI key and channel that triggers it and is sent to the host as well as the audio output of Jamsticks that the sound is sent to. Many sounds in Jamsticks have articulations, such as the hi-hat with different opening levels and shanking sounds. You must select an articulation to set its MIDI key since each has its own. You can also select an articulation to change its volume, etc., without affecting the other articulations. If you leave it on all, any change affects all articulations at once. Let's take a look at the Velocity Behavior panel here. By default, Jamsticks uses the velocity or power of the note and sends it directly to the audio engine to select the corresponding sound layer. If you change this curve by drawing on it or using the presets here, you can instruct it to adjust the velocity on the fly. For example, you may have imported a MIDI clip where low power hi-hat notes are too quiet. Instead of changing all notes in your arrangement, simply expand the velocity curve here so those low power notes trigger a stronger velocity layer. Another example of using an external drum module whose hi-hat is just too loud at low power levels. Use the compressed curve and those notes will now trigger a lower power sample in the drum module. Jamsticks also has the dynamics functions that operate on the sound engine and not the velocity layer. All Jamsticks 1, 2, and 3 sounds can be adjusted with the min and max knobs here. For example, if I raise the min knob on the snare, lower power hits are played louder. This can be important to fine tune the drums into a given mix. Jamsticks 3 sounds also offer you the DYN knob here, which uses the new advanced velocity layer management function of Jamsticks 3. It allows you to force the sound level difference between the quietest and the loudest hit of the kit piece. 
Jamsticks then adjust the volume of each layer to fit within this constraint. The lower the range, the less volume difference can be heard between the layers. You will see that this can often reduce or negate the need for compression in the mixer or the host to fine tune the mix. That's all for today. Make sure to also watch the tutorial on hosting third party drum modules, which I did not touch on here. If you have any questions, please contact us in our support forum or via email. We are always here to help you get the most out of Jamsticks. I will see you in the next tutorial. Until then, happy drumming!